Are nutrition labels accurate? In short, no. <laughs> nutrition labels can be up to 20% off in terms of their calorie counts and their macro counts and all of that stuff that you see on the labels, up to 20% off in order to be considered compliant with the guidelines. So that means that those 100 calorie packs of like pretzels and crackers and things like that, that a lot of dieters eat could be anywhere from 80 to 120 calories. And while 20 calories here and there probably isn't going to make or break your progress, the problem comes in when people start living and dying by calorie counts and living and dying by macros and tracking every single thing that they're eating and thinking that that's what it's going to take to get to where they want to be. If food labels can be up to 20% off, that's a pretty big variation in overall calories at the end of the day. And so when people come to me and they're stressed about calories and they're like, I'm tracking everything and I'm not getting the results that I want, even though I'm staying within my calories, we don't actually know that. And so if you are somebody who wants to track your food, there's a, a better way to approach it than just plugging everything into lose it or my fitness pal and this is something i call tracking with intention so it's not tracking to keep yourself in line it's not tracking to hit certain numbers because those numbers are never actually accurate we never really know how many calories we're having or not having how many calories our food has and doesn't have it's never completely accurate what is always accurate are your hunger cues and your satisfaction cues those will never steer you wrong, never. Physical hunger cues and satisfaction. Now the key is being able to distinguish between physical hunger and emotional hunger, and that's something that we'll talk about another time. But for today, in terms of tracking your food, here's how you do it in a way that's more like sane and will actually give you the results that you're looking, at, that you're, you're looking for. So tracking with intention looks like this. Here's how I have my clients do it. They open up the notes section of their phone and they put the time they eat and what they eat. So 9 a.m., eggs, broccoli, and toast with butter, for example. And then they do that for the rest of the day and they write down everything that they have. I have my clients keep a three to five day food journal before we start working together. And this is how they track. And here's why. And here's why we don't, I don't care about the numbers. What I'm more concerned with is, okay, it seems like when they eat this breakfast, they tend to be snackier later in the day, but when they eat this breakfast, they don't. Or if they don't have a starch at dinner, they're snacking all night, whereas if they do have a snack, uh, starch at dinner, they're not snacking as much at night. So it's looking for those little patterns and those little um, clues as to what works for the person and what doesn't. Tracking in my fitness pal won't get you that. What that does is it just throws all these numbers at you that if you hit, you're good, and if you miss, you're bad, and you're off track. But when you're tracking with intention, it is with the intention of looking for patterns, of looking for habits, of looking at where there are potential gaps in your nutrition habits that you can fill in. Are you missing protein in your meals? Are you missing healthy fats? Are you missing a lot of fiber? That's the stuff that matters. And when you can master that protein, fat, and fiber combo and find the right amount of food that works for you and keeps you satisfied and keeps your cravings low, keeps your energy high, keeps you looking and feeling the way you want to, when you can master that, you never have to worry about calories again because you just know. You just know what foods work for you and what combination of foods don't and how to make up for it if you need to, right? So here's what I mean by that. Let's say like, I don't know, you go out to brunch with your girlfriends and you guys have like pancakes and bacon and mimosas and you're like, oh man, like that was carb overload and a lot of fat. So what do you do at your next meal? Protein and fiber. You learn how to balance things out. The easiest way to do this is to track with intention for three to five days and the best thing that you can do is have me look that over for you because I can help you find where those gaps are. This is what I do for my clients every single day, every day, except Saturday and Sunday. 
I do take weekends off. <laughs> but this is what I do for my clients because if you're coming out of a dieting background where you're obsessed with numbers, obsessed with labels, thinking that you have to track in my fitness pal in order to make any kind of progress, it's gonna be really hard for you to see like your own blind spots and it's gonna be really hard for you to see where your gaps are. This is why I have a job, because that's what I do. And the best way to start with this is you're gonna to go to the link in my bio and you're gonna download my free 10 day fueled up nutrition jumpstart. I walk you through exactly how to start tracking with intention, how to plan out meals that are satisfying and filling for you that, like I said, are gonna keep you satisfied, they're gonna keep your cravings low, they're gonna keep you energized, they're gonna be really, really tasty too, because you have to enjoy the way you eat. I talked about that in my post from this morning. Um, and it's gonna walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to plan out your meals, how to track everything, and you're gonna do that for 10 days. If you do that for 10 days and you send it to me, we'll do a free 30 minute coaching call. I'll give it to you for free. You commit to yourself for 10 days and following these guidelines that I give you and writing it down and tracking it and all of that, we'll get on a coaching call for free. So here's what you're gonna do. Go to the link in my bio, download the PDF, and you can grab workouts too. I'm, I'm giving you, um, a 10 day workout plan with the nutrition reset or with the nutrition jumpstart for $7. So be sure to grab that. Um, but you're going to fill that, download the PDF. I need coffee. My words are just <clears throat> download the PDF, fill it out for 10 days, send it to me at the end of 10 days. I'll send you a link to book a call and we'll get your nutrition all squared away. Okay. Don't stress about nutrition labels, they're not accurate. Don't stress about the numbers my fitness pal gives you, it's not accurate. In fact, delete that app. Delete it right now. It's not doing, if tracking on my fitness pal or in Lose It or in your Weight Watchers app, if that worked, it would have worked by now. If you have to keep going back to it, it is not the strategy for you, it is not working. So let's find the strategy that does, okay? Have a great day, I'll talk to you guys soon, bye.